Eminem is known for destroying many artists over the years. Jay-Z, The Game, and the whole of D12. Many times. I'm going to go through five songs where Eminem didn't body the other MC. But firstly, don't forget to subscribe. Alright, let's get into it. Coming in number five is 50 Cent on the song Patiently Waiting of the 2003 classic album Get Rich or Die Trying. So 50 Cent, not known to be the most lyrical MC of all time, but his menacing tone and one-liners on this song definitely matched Eminem. Particularly in 50's second verse, where he drops lines like, You shouldn't throw stones if you live in a glass house. And if you've got a glass jaw, you should watch your mouth, because I'll break your face. Kind of witty, but also very menacing. But his bars are pretty simple, but also very effective in the same way. Eminem, on the other hand, comes with, in typical Eminem fashion, comes with the energy, takes it up an octave, and speeds up his flow in comparison to 50. But although Eminem was more lyrical, both rappers had a really strong performance on this song. Coming in number four is Obi Trice's collaboration with Eminem called Lady of Obi Trice's 2003 debut album called Cheers. Now Obi back in the day had a few songs with Eminem and I felt like he held his own, which at that time was very rare. Most rappers got on a track of Eminem and they got bodied. M would just take it another level. But here they went back and forth. The first verse, Obi went first and Eminem and the same thing for the second. I would probably say Eminem got the better of Obi Trice on the first verse, but only just. But then on the second verse, Obi took it up another level. The flow was crazy. But I wouldn't say Eminem got bodied by Obi. I think they were pretty equal, but me personally, I'll give it to Obi for this one. Coming in number three is Renegade, but the one featuring Royce the 5'9 that never came out, but obviously it's all online. This would have been 2001, because that's when the Jay-Z one came out. Now, most people say this was actually better than the Jay-Z one, which I, I don't agree. I think Royce did very well on this song, but I feel like the Jay-Z one was a better overall song. But Royce's flow, lyrics, is always impeccable. Him and Eminem sound a lot alike on the song. I don't know who wrote their verse first, but the other one kind of copied the whole cadence and style. But I've never heard Royce and M on the song where Royce got bodied. So I would probably put this one as a tie. And depending who wrote first, if Royce wrote first, I say Royce got it over M and vice versa. Coming in number two is Eminem's recent song with Snoop called From the D to the LBC. This song came out in 2022. It came out of nowhere really. But the build up to this song was Snoop was on radio stations and even his Instagram live saying how Eminem isn't in his GOAT list. And he said it with quite a lot of aggression. Eminem ended up actually responding to Snoop on a song. But he didn't properly diss Snoop, he just tapped Snoop. But the little controversy, they must have had words and the back and forths. And they ended up coming out of this song. Which I feel like is a, is a hot song. Eminem did his thing, he does that where he's rapping real lyrical. And then he speeds it up, but you almost can't even understand what he's saying. But Snoop came in, I, I've never really heard Snoop rap like this. It was really, really quick really potent i like the way he goes all that lbc stuff it was real almost old school gangster snoop but he also had that lyrics and had that flow but a different type of snoop flow coming in number one is a song off eminem's kamikaze album in 2018 it's with joiner lucas and it's called lucky me now this song is bananas joiner lucas probably one of the best lyrical rappers on the last several years the cadence the flow at one point he even flipped into a different language on his verse Jonah Lucas is super talented but the way he chopped up his syllables as well it was actually kind of Eminem-esque because Eminem is pretty much the king of, of syllables but Eminem's verse is also really good the highlight for me of Eminem was the way he sped up his flow to the point where it didn't sound even realistic it kind of felt like he got the engineer or the producer to speed it up because it didn't sound realistic that he could rap that quick, especially at his age. Come on now. Although I've heard Eminem say anything he raps, he can do it live. So who knows? But that's my list, guys. Five songs that Eminem didn't body the MC he collaborated with. What do you think of the list? Let me know in the comments. Can you think of other collaborations with Eminem? Do you agree with this list? Do you agree with the order? 
let me know in the comments